What is up, everyone? Welcome to the FOMC live stream. June 12th, Wednesday, 2024. Of course, we had CPI pre-market. Stocks shot up. S&P is currently at 54. NASDAQ up 260. Russell, the strongest, up 53. Dow, barely green. Gold up 1%. Silver up 3%. Bonds up one and a half, notes up 1%, 10 year yield dropped by 3%. Oil up one, natty gas down three, soybeans flat, corn a little bit green, wheat red, euro and the pound green, and Bitcoin up 3%. VIX contracting down to 12.42, a little over 3% lower from yesterday's close. So my plan for FOMC is here in about four minutes, I'm going to enter an iron condor. Try to capture some of that initial decay after the data is released, and then I'll close the trade out before the press conference starts. And then after the press conference starts, I will buy some premium to try to take advantage of the big move. So that is my plan. I uh, Here's what I did this morning. I had the, the O2 diagonal, booked three, uh, 14%, 3,000 on that. Went in for a second time, half size, hit profit target on that. Tried to go in way, one too many times and gave some back on the last one. That was a half size one as well, but uh, really kind of never gave me any profit so should have stopped at two i've also got my uh rut hedges on the one from yesterday is looking nice as it broke out with rut being up the most and then the one i put on today is still pretty centered Had that initial push right up to the expected move, which I had at about 54.44, pushed up to 54.46, new all-time high, and that's just been kind of trailing a little bit below that for the rest of the day. I rolled up some puts in MES. Rolled up some puts in oil. Uh, gold is up, so that's pushed a little bit back towards center. And that is about it. So I like to enter my iron condor here in about a minute. 10 minutes before the data release. Yeah, Vegas, Michelle, I like to, I like to do these user triggered. Yeah, I took a loss on that third one, Elliot. I'm trying to decide how much I want to do on that. 30 delta strangle. I usually do a 10 lot, but kind of feels like CPI kind of took some wind out of the uh out of the movement. And that, you know, the FOMC move might be a little more muted. That's just kind of my assumption. So we'll see. We'll see what happens when the data is released. But I may go a little bit smaller on my on my long strangle. All right, so I'm gonna enter my iron condor.
looks like it's going to be the 60 calls and the 85 puts. Filled at 735. I better turn on CNBC so I can see what colored tie Jerome's wearing. Yeah, no rate change expected. But we'll see what comes out of Jerome's mouth. Everybody will be hanging on what his potential plans are for the future. I think it's purple, Joey. I think it's purple. Uh, I'll close my longs on this if there's any value left. Calls have 20 cents currently, but they're at about 35. So most likely it'll be a little value. Oh, but yeah, uh, the profit targets on the full iron condor. So I'll take off half if I hit 30%, which doesn't happen very often before my exit time, which is 25 after. So what'd we get here? 75 wide. Last couple of meetings have been over a hundred wide. Of course, like I said, I think CPI took a lot of the steam out this morning. Uh, still showing a about a 31, 33 point expected move the rest of the day. Chad, you had a good morning trade, it looks like.
Yeah, it looks like it would have paid to wait a little bit longer to get in. Yeah, it is a little better five minutes later. Hmm. wonder if that's based on recent performance because I've, I recall that uh, 10 before was, uh, was the best at one point. So must have improved waiting a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Oracle had earnings. It's up twelve percent. They must have said uh, they must have mentioned AI on their earnings call or something. Say AI a couple times, you just stock will just shoot up. I wonder if I could change the name of navigation to like navigation NT AI. Could probably go public if I did that. Coinbase up seven percent. Apple up another five. Look at that. Woo. Apple is on fire. Tesla up almost five. NVIDIA up four. NVIDIA new all-time high. Post split new all-time high 126.88. Interestingly, there are some big, big boys in the red today. Um, or there was earlier anyway. Let's see. Walmart's red. JP Morgan red. Amazon's a little bit red. Starbucks red. Netflix red. Meta up a little bit. Twenty seconds to lift off. Yeah, definitely would have been better off waiting a little bit to enter. Here it comes, first reaction, a little bit lower.
won't be confident to reduce rates until they get closer to 2%. It's kind of the headline. I'm on the 85s and 60s. 53, 85 puts, 54, 60 calls. And DX, of course, new all time high as well, 19,512. Yeah, man, if, uh, if we would have waited a little bit to get in, we'd be up 20%. But Iron Condor is up 10. SPX bouncing, VIX falling. I need rut to stay strong. It's starting to get a little bit weaker. Not a whole lot of movement yet. What do you mean, Yogadelic? You got juiced. You got better, quite a bit better premium on the last, on the second tranche. It looked like it from my the one I entered that definitely cut it could have got in for about ten percent better pricing.
Oh, gotcha. Even with SPX pushing up after the open, VIX had an initial drop, but it never never hit new lows after after that initial drop. Iron Condor up I don't know what to think after the CPI move. <clears throat> we may we may actually stay in a range. Yeah, so Quanteo, this is actually only the second FOMC mate, uh, meeting that I've been trading that. So I did I did kind of a similar thing the last time where I hit profit target quickly. Um, and then I, I waited and just kind of watched the original position, the price of it. And when it contracted back down, when the when the price came down, I, I re-entered and hit a second, hit a profit target a second time. So I did the same thing today. Unfortunately, I went I went in for a third today and gave some back. So yeah, those second and third tranches aren't really part of the back test. That was just me looking, watching the pricing of that spread and kind of trying to look for another little waiting for basically vol contract and then trying to get back in and wait for another little vol pump. Iron Condor up 24%. Might hit our 30% for the exit time. Oh, next few weeks or months, Elliot? I, I, I have no idea. I haven't really thought about it.
My long puts are still worth 20 cents. My long calls are worth five. Hitting 30%. I'm going to, no, oh, getting close. So it flashed thirty percent on trade steward. Give it another minute or so. I closed half at thirty percent, and then I closed the remaining half at the uh, timed exit. Yeah, same here, Chad. Mine's at 515 as well. I don't have a profit target in. I'm on Trade Steward, but it flashed 30%, but it's popping back up a little bit. Still dead centered. I don't want to give this away. A little bit more contraction. A little bounce would do it. Yeah, I'm with you, Dick K. I'm going to, I usually do a 10 lot. I'm going to do a three lot. on the long strangle. Uh, I doubt it, Lucky. I bet that butterfly premium doesn't get to two bucks until a minute or two before the close. Remember, the more anticipated movement, the cheaper those butterflies are. Spreads trading at about 555. I'm looking for about 515. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close half.
look about 22, 23%. I'll leave the remaining half on until the, uh, you're about nine minutes. Yeah, I was just looking at that. I think I'm going to, I mean, the, the calls are pretty much worthless anyway, but well, they're 10 cents. Um, let's think about leaving those puts on at least just for the initial, or leaving them both on just for the initial uh, press, press conference, see if we get a little bit more value out of them at least. Yeah, because if we start ripping to new all-time highs, volatility could start expanding again. Which would help those calls. VIX contracting, but spread is not. Of course, it's bouncing off center now a little bit. Five minutes till exit. 10 minutes till the press conference.
Apple new highs. Apple up 12% in the last two days. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, Elliot. All right, a couple minutes. All right, trying to close the remaining. I'm going to leave my longs on. Filled at 590. My uh, long calls are worth 10 cents. My long puts are worth 15. So we get a, if we get a move, I'll close those out for a little bit more. Then I'm going to be buying my strangle in about 10 minutes. This is some of the least movement I've seen in this little time period that I can remember.
Yep, no time to exit. It just goes to the end. Yeah, so you want to position size based on potentially max loss, kind of like a Rick. I did put on a new hedgehog and ES this morning. All right, presser should be starting any time. No Jerome on this podium yet. He's fixing his tie, trying to decide which one to wear. There he is. It's the purple tie. <laughs> That's definitely bullish. SPX on a slow creep higher so far.
looks like the uh, 50s and 10s or 50s and 15s. I'll enter here in about a minute and a half. <clears throat> All right, launching my 30 Delta three lot. So the 1235 on the 50s and 10s. All right, Jerome, let's get crazy. Let's get nuts. I mean, just a quick drop down to 54.10 would do it. Just a quick drop to 54.10. Just hit our PTs and be done. Options still pricing in about a 27 point move. Yeah, I just close them all. Oh, great, Chad. Hopefully you don't give it the Wooga, Wooga curse. There you 
There you go. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to jinx anything. What's funny is both our trades, Iron Condor and the Strangle, we had the exact same strikes and the exact same fill. I entered about a minute before you both times. Hmm. The Dow is just unchanged. What's up? It seems like price movement wasn't near as much today as it has been on days like this. Let's see. What's pulling the Dow down? MasterCard. Visa, JP Morgan. Amazon. JP's done talking. Now for some questions. This is when the fun begins. Oh, you know, he's he was, uh, you know, not a lot... Not a lot of uh, TLC trading this morning, so I didn't uh, anticipate he'd have a lot to talk about, but not a problem. Let's see it just rip. I mean, they, they said one rate cut this year, so I figure when you, know, you hear the word rate cut, it's going to spark it to go up. I <laughs> It goes up, it needs to go up fast. That slow grind is the enemy now. Vic's getting close to lows of day. I guess it ticked lows of day. Yeah, Vic's kind of little lows of day, and now it's popped up. I mean, this is some pretty muted price action compared to what we normally that's what I'm, see. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's not really going anywhere. You can get about a 75 wide iron condor right now. Do it. <laughs> ah. Is that not enough consolidation for you? I mean, that's, I don't remember the last time it had, it's looked like this <laughs> on an FOMC day. Honestly, it's just it hasn't moved. Yeah, that's CPI, I think, is a big factor there. It's like the inflation data is out. Not super confident in this uh, long strangle, but see what happens. Sure seems like the most most of the time the the big movement comes after he's done. 
After all questions have been answered, press conference ends. Seems like that's when the moves really start happening. Well, now we're going to need below 54.10 to the downside since it's taken its sweet time. Like 54.05 on a quick move. The longer it takes, the further it's got to go. Green number three. That'd be still red, mine would. All right, I put on a discretionary power hour with this with this muted movement. Oh yeah, here we go. 54, 55 calls and 5,400 puts. Maybe I'm, I'm so. Did 40 wide got filled at 640. So, who, what are you rooting for now? You got the long strangle, you want movement. You got your short iron condor, you want nothing. Two separate accounts. Oh, okay. Which one did your brother get? The premium selling or premium buying? I'm not sure if he answered. He might be on mute. Oh, there we go. Um, brothers got the strangle and the iron condor from earlier. Um, and I only did one. I only did one contract, so it, even max loss, I would still be positive in that account because I I did the uh, um, many contracts did I do? Oh, I did a ten lot in the the original the first iron condor. 
So being my first day, first time ever doing the strangle, I just did a one contract. Rut is coming down. That's the one that I need to keep going up. Dow is red. Market maker move was at 27 just a little bit ago. Now it's at 24. I think Jerome lost his magic touch to move the market. Yeah, I've never seen it this muted on FOMC day. Gold has given back about half of its gains. More. Come on, Jerome. This is not what we tuned in for. It's not what we signed up for. Give us, give the people what they want. Well, I'm going to go grab myself a snack, I guess. Nothing else to do. Power Hour Iron Condor is working out.
Okay, there's a little red. Move down a little bit. Still is kind of looking like choppy price action, though. See if it can break through lows of the, uh, that one push lower that it came when it it dropped it. What time was that? Twelve fifty-five, one o'clock central. See if it can get below that. I just sold a little put spread that I'm going to try to butterfly off here if we get a bounce. Hey, what if I get any type of a bounce here? I'm about ready to book 20%. Nice. Yeah, because my strangle is down about 30%. If it gets back up to 54.30, I mean, I might book 40% then. That's dead center, 54.30. Wow, there's 20%. I uh, got filled at 640. Now I just got filled at 510. Getting a bounce right back to center. Wow. I need to get my 40% profit target in. I might hit it right right as I put it up, put it in. It's just been nothing but chop since one o'clock central. It's a TLC dream. Yeah. Yeah, I'm only uh, about 50 cents away from 40% now. That quick.
Still says there's a 22 point move coming, 23 point move coming. Oh, that's what it is. The purple tie means consolidation, not bullish. I had it wrong. Thirty cents till I hit forty my forty percent profit target. <laughs> ten ten cents. Jeez, this is incredible. I got an order in it at 385. It's currently at 392. 387. Might be in. All right. To the upside, we're going to need, by the time it gets there, probably 65 or so. Build it 385, 40%. Vix hitting new fresh lows. For the day. The post COVID VIX low 11.52 a few weeks ago. All right, I've got <clears throat> ordered at 285 to close my final two contracts. I only did only did a 10 lot here. I thought I'd go a little smaller instead of doing my 12. So <laughs> just did 10. All right, I just flied off my vertical. I just need a 54, 30 to 35 pin. NDX about to hit new all-time highs. 
I need 50 cents to be 60% and out. And that would be See, I've been in the trade for 18 minutes. Overbought, oversold, what? What does that mean? Wow. You have I'm a nickel away from sixty percent and out. There we go. Fill it 60% and out. That was a 20 minute trade. Nice. For 60% profit. All right, get your 60%. Now we can move. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, get, a, get a double whammy. I probably could have held it for 80%. Really. I mean, I'm it's 55 wide. Or it was 55 wide. FOMC day plus 4,215 on TLC trades. It's got to be a record for FOMC day. Here's how the back test looks for FOMC. If you enter at 230, 130 central, and you close it about 40 minutes later, that's four dollars. Like the trade I just did. Wide. Well, this is no, I mean this is four dollars strike sixty wide. I was just messing with the original one I did oh. with this, this time frame to see kind of what it looked like. So I did uh 40 wide. Three dollar strikes. Uh, let me go back to two ninety and four forty. So the put side was four forty, and the call side was two ninety. Stand on my. Yeah, me too. That's why I was saying just go for bills. Okay. So it's 20, 40, 60. 
Not very good. Not very good. But let's <laughs> see. It's not every day we have CPI before FOMC either, though. Right, right. There was uh, one other day I saw this year that that happened. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at my results from last night. This was kind of the perfect storm, I think, for. Yeah. We still, I mean, we still may see a big move after the presser's over. Yeah, there's happens still left. 50 minutes left. Yeah. So, but I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off, everyone. I'll see everybody in the morning. All righty. Have a good one. SPX strangled dead center. VIX falling. So earlier today, I put a couple little tight condors in NDX at the upside expected move and one basically where NDX opened. Now I'm trying to remove the risk here by selling a butterfly for a buck 50. Price is bouncing all around. It's not there yet. Five out of 19 profits came after after the time it is right now, Marl. Gotcha. NDX, new all-time high. I think it was the last meeting, right? Where it rallied hard. And then after, as soon as the press conference was over, or as soon as JP said something towards the end, it just tanked.
45 minutes to go the at the money butterfly in SPX look at the 40 trading for about 50 cents a lot of times it's trading for a dollar 30 at this point NDX pushing. Apple. Pushing. All right, all. I'm going to jump off here. I doubt I'll do a Mahomes at the end of the day. I think it'll just hold. I think it'll stay cheap too long. Hopefully we get a rip or a big dip for the strangle. Otherwise, I'll see you in the chat. Tomorrow is the 13th, so chat will be streaming live at the open. And then we'll be back for our regular scheduled programming and power hour in the afternoon. All right. Good luck, everybody. Have a good day. Talk to you soon.